All right. Um, okay, let's move on to the uh, next part. Um, if you go to the uh, go to page twelve. So I have some checklists for you here, and some questions. All right. So the first thing is, we gave you a checklist. So um, it is amazing how easy it is to forget super critical, important stuff when you're going to be speaking. So I created just a basic checklist, and you should add to this checklist as you see fit, as you seem necessary, deem necessary, okay? So simple stuff. So like, make sure you have some type of drive with your presentation stored on it, okay? So I try to have a lot of redundancy here. <coughs> so uh, I'll have, and, and because I've, I've spoken so many times in so many different places, I'll have a copy of my slides on a thumb drive, I'll have a copy on my desktop, I'll have a copy in my spare drive. Sometimes, depending on the situation, I'll have a version of it. If I create it in Keynote, I'll save it to a PDF and I'll save it to PowerPoint because you never know what's going to happen. There's been plenty of times I've, I've showed up and the, it's, it's an old PC. It can't handle any Mac, anything. And it needs, it's like, you know, and then it, it's like, oh, no, you got to open it on PowerPoint. And so you open it on PowerPoint. Oh, but we have a different version of PowerPoint. Oh, so you have to open it on. And I got it covered because I got it super redundant. I've got it any way they, they want it. I got it. All right. <laughs> I got a PDF, I got a Keynote, I got a PowerPoint. So whatever you throw at me, I've seen it before. I can handle it. That did happen to me, and we had very little time to set up, so the whole thing started late, and the, the AV guy ended up running it off of his laptop. It was, yeah. another, so that's another good note. Show up like an hour early. Put that on your, put that on your note. So there, you know, sometimes when I know I'm going to talk and it's a significant size event, I might show up three hours early. And I'm going to go and find out who's the person that I need to get all my stuff to. Who's the AV person? And I'm going to be asking questions. And I'm going to put out my, um, uh, you know, I'm put on here, hey, I've got, my, I've got my backup drive. I'm going to know in advance, am I going to do an exercise that requires an easel? A lot of times I, I pull out a pen and paper and I use an easel as like my favorite stage prop. But not everybody has an easel. So I own a bunch, and I bring them around with me, okay? And if I'm, if I'm flying somewhere, you know, I tell them, make sure ahead of time, call them ahead of time, hey, make sure they have an easel. And I can't tell you how many times, call them ahead of time, make sure they've got an easel on stage for me. Oh, yeah, yeah, we got it. You show up. Oh, show no, easel. no easel. Never heard of what that, I don't even know what that is. Like, it's <laughs> amazing. So you need to uh, make sure that this stuff is, is ready to go. I thought you said weasel. I thought you said weasel, yeah. <laughs> we, got, we, we got plenty of those. Okay. Are you going to have a, um, like a, a six-foot table outside with a pop-up display on it? Um, because you have, you know, this is an event where you're going to be able to sell something at. And do you have all of the handouts that are going to go to that event? So, you know, usually like the week before the event, Jana's calling me and we're running through the checklist of like, okay, what are you going to offer here? What's the price point? And then we make, we make all the handouts and we print them up beforehand. She makes sure that I've got them so I can take them with me. This checklist is super important. Um, order forms, printed and ready to go. There's, it, it, there, was, there has been many times in the past where I waited too long to set up my order forms and because I thought I had it, last minute I look and it's the wrong price point or it's the wrong product or it's, there's some, some piece of information that I forgot to change. So you want to make sure that anything like that is created. Simple. Cell phone and charger. Can't tell you if you fly somewhere and I forgot to bring my charger, your cell phone dies. That could ruin your, that can ruin your talk because you... <laughs> Oh, I was going to get there off of my Uber and my map, and now I, you know, everything that I had, I can't communicate. Uh, laptop and power cord. Okay, got to make sure you have an extra one of those. If you're going to be handing out business cards, if you, if you want to have some photographs of you on stage, who's going to take those photographs? Uh, if you want a Facebook Live done, you're not going to do it yourself. Who's going to do that for you? 
You're going to have to write a little something and hand your phone to somebody and make sure the Wi-Fi is connected. You don't just try to you know, wait and do it on the fly. It's, you're going to risk something going wrong. This one is really important. Rip, written script for the host to introduce you to. Um, so this is not, it's usually a little bit shorter than your bio. It's the bullet points that you want your host to say when they introduce you. So you can usually take it from your bio, but um, when I go to speak somewhere, right before I go up, I'm going to hand the person mm -hmm. a copy of what, how I want them to introduce me. Okay, and so, um, it, it, so again, it's, gonna, it's not necessarily your bio, it's usually some bullet points. So and if you have an interesting name, and it's difficult to pronounce, phonetically, phonetically. spell a little for them, because they will, and then they'll be embarrassed, and you'll be weird, and then you have to keep repeating what your real name is. Yeah. yeah. Phonetically write it out for them. And practice so, before you go on stage even, this, and it makes them feel comfortable. Where, yeah. you did you, Lori, you were at Tamara's stage. Okay, so Lori just saw me on stage. That guy introduced me. He was like, I was walking up there. Instead of saying Brett Gregory, he's like, Jeff Stiltson. Like, I, he said, like, the, the, it was so wrong. The name was so, I was like, who is that? Like, what? It was like, how did you get that? You know what? Everybody knows. Yeah, it was like, are you the backdrop had your name on <laughs> Yeah, my name's up there in like 2,000 point font. And the guy's yeah. like, oh yeah, it's like Phil McCracken. Like, yeah. what? <laughs> like, where did you get that? Yeah. And so this happens all the time, okay? So you want to hand them something uh, so that they don't do that. Um, and, uh, How do you do it? Do you joke? You say, he sent me here? I, I don't know what I say. I don't even remember. I'm like. I'm not sure you corrected him. I. I think you just went right into your. Well, I think it's because everybody could see, like, right behind my name, and this, the letters were this large, and he's like, said something completely else. I'm like, that's me. It's like whatever. Or was he somebody like? He was an MC. He wasn't. Yeah, he wasn't the host. So anyway, it was funny. Um, Okay, so if you're uh, if you have any handouts, brochures, flyers, anything, free gift that you're gonna pass out, if you're gonna pass out an exercise or whatever, you've got to have those things ready to go. Um, if you if you need notes on your stage, you know sometimes the the first time I'm gonna do a brand new presentation, I don't have it all memorized, but part of it that is part of why um, in, in a it depends on you know how big the event is you're speaking. If I'm on like a big stage, like a significant size, like the our event, if it's 150 people, we've got a monitor down at the bottom so I can see what's behind me. It's called a confidence monitor. Okay, so you can actually see what's on behind you. So without, so I don't have to turn around every single time and look what's behind me. And usually the three or four words on the slides are enough for me to know what I'm going to say on that particular slide. So I don't need every word from every page. I don't need, you know, a huge stack to talk from, okay? Uh, but, you know, in lots of cases, there are plenty of times where I give the same presentation with no slides at all. I'm in somebody's living room, and we may not need slides, um, or depending on where, I'm in, uh, where I am, if you need some kind of notes, have the notes. You've got to get those created. Um, now, this last one here, rehearse, rehearse, rehearse. Multiple times, okay? So um, there, you can't rehearse too much. You really can't. But you definitely can rehearse not enough. <laughs> That's a certainty. Um, and I tell this to everybody. Before you go and give a live presentation to you know, a live in-person audience, I want to see you do it 10 times. Now, I will include... Rehearsal to me, I will include, if you give this, give your signature talk as a webinar version, you email your list, let's say 10 people register, one person shows and you give it, I call that practice. I consider that a rehearsal. Do that 10 times before you give your talk to a live audience. Or if it's, you know, if it's like a four person audience, that's practice. I call that practice. That's fine. But whatever you do. If you get the opportunity to speak on this big stage, especially if there's a hundred people or more, 
don't be the person who goes out and doesn't rehearse and goes and speak because everybody will know. You can't get away with that. Saying you could, did you have a question? I just had another add on because yeah. um, this has happened to me. Turn off your passcode and disable your thumb thing because I've given somebody my phone and been like, oh, can you take some pictures from the stage? And they're like, yeah, right. And then the whole, and I'm like, did I nailed it? Did you get that pose? And they're like, I didn't no. Know your password. Yeah, they're like, like I don't have your password. That's another great, so totally great thing to put on your checklist. Have a separate checklist. phone just for that, but like, great, totally turn that off. great thing to put on your checklist. Yes. Now, tip about notes is from Chris Anderson, the president of TED Talk. Uh huh. He said that if you have notes and they usually provide you a little table and you have water there, you know, mm -hmm. water bottle or something, put your notes right there where your water bottle is. So. If you get stuck and you can just walk up and take a sip of water while you look at your notes oh, and then you can continue. That's on. great. So you don't have to like show that you need notes. Yeah, that's great. Is awesome. There, is there a way to have that um, comfort monitor give you a little more of a script than what's on the slides or does it only mean Yes, there is. The, if you use Keynote. Uh, I don't think you can do it on PowerPoint, but if you use Keynote, there is a way to do it. But uh, that's a, there's, there's a technical way to do it that we don't have time to get into.